Hello everyone, this is CS1941. Today we're going to talk about the Premiere Pro and the lesson today we're going to talk about is about the video editing. First, I put the practice video links at the YouTube instruction. So if you want to find a free video, I can suggest you can go to a Pricksoft. Here you can search the video you want this image and video are royalty free for you to use. After you click the download button, you jump out the quotation of the others. Now you open the folders where you save the video and drag them into the left button panel. So now we select the serial number 1 video and drag the video into the middle panel for the editing. We can press the space button to play the video and press it again to post the video. We also can press L to play the video. You press it again, you will speed up. You press third time, you will speed up three times faster. So now we press L to play the video and press K to stop. Let me do it again. Press L to play, press again, speed up, press K to stop. And we can press J to rewind the video. Now we learn how to cut the video. We can drag the mark line to check where the video we want to cut and press Ctrl plus K to cut it. So now I drag the video sample 2, 3 and 4 into the middle panel and drag the mark line to the place I want to cut the video. Ctrl K and delete it. Press Alt to select the space and delete it again. You also can choose the razor tool to cut the video. But I suggest it's for the audio use is better. Delete the section we want to remove and delete the space again to move forward the clips. There's another way to cut the video. We can drag from the front or button of the bar to cut the video. When you use this way to cut the video, you can see the white block shows the time you cut and the time it left in the bar. Delete the space and move forward the clip. You can click the Ripple Edit Tool button. It will fill in the space automatically after you adjust the length of the video bar. We can press the backslash of the keyboard so the video is displayed in proportion to the current panel wide. We also can use the scroll at the button to adjust the video wide. Another common technique when editing video is to insert a clip between two clips. If I drag the sample for video forward directly, I will lose the content of other clip. So the correct way to do it is to hold down the control key while dragging the clip. Let me do it again. There's another way to edit the video. Double click the video at the left panel. And the video will input into the top left screen. We can first move the paddle head to the starting position of the capture. Press I on the keyboard. Then drag the paddle head to the end of the capture. Press O on the keyboard. We also can press the button under the screen, mark in and mark out, to decide what is the front and the end of the video. After we finish, we drag the mark line to the position we want to insert the video. You can press the button insert under the video or you can press common on the keyboard to insert the video into the editing panel. 
This is a lesson for video editing. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and click like. Thank you.